For this one, we're skipping the normal intro because I could not believe that Apple got rid of one of my most favorite features of Xcode. Stay tuned to learn what they did and how we're going to fix it. All right, so here we are in our brand new Xcode project, and it's probably not obvious to most of you uh, until you wanted to go and change this image, for example. Now, I don't know about you, but one of the things that I always do is I would always click a little plus button that was somewhere up here in the right-hand corner, and now I can't find it. And you may, may say, well, there's a plus button over here, but that's for adding tabs and editor panes. That's not adding images or changing components. And since I wanted to change an image, I had SF symbols downloaded. So I was able to just go into SF symbols and search for the image I wanted here and copy the name out and paste it into my code and everything was okay. But I was really frustrated that one of my favorite features of Xcode was just gone. And so I decided that I was gonna go looking for it. So today I'm gonna to show you where Apple hid this really useful piece of UI so that hopefully you don't have to open three or four apps like I was doing before. Uh, in order to find where these images and components ran off to. So I thought for a second that I was going crazy and maybe it was never here or maybe it got turned off. But luckily I had written an article on this years ago called Xcode for Beginners. And if we scroll down through the article, we can see that there was in fact a plus button here. And if, as you can see, it's got a five listed on there. And it says that this is the library button Clicking this gives us a list of components or views, modifiers, code snippets, images, colors, and symbols. So I knew that this button at least existed at one point in the past. And so luckily, because I had it written down what the name of this button was, I was able to come back into Xcode and did what everyone should do whenever they don't have an idea of where to turn next. I asked for help. Uh, and I said, where is the library button? And so luckily, hovering over this will show us that if we go into our View tab at the top, we can scroll down and see that there is our Show Library button. Whew, thank goodness. I thought that thing was gone forever. Uh, and if you're a shortcut fan, then you can get to this library using Shift, Command, and L for a library, I assume. And so we can click on this or use our shortcut and there we are, we are back to having our library component. So we can use whatever images we want in here. We can sort through all of our components from here, all of our filters, everything is back like it was before. So luckily now we have our library button back and everything is right with the world and we can take a deep breath and just relax and keep on coding. Now, if you got value from this video, please feel free to like, share and subscribe. And if you leave a comment, just be nice about it. That's all I ask. Thanks, have a great day.